we're doing today is I'm just going to kind of bring together everything that we've been discussing over the last few weeks. And this is the first kind of step um, of what, what I coach clients through. Um, this is the first phase where you kind of bring your monthly plan together, you build the content, um, and you put it in different places, you link it back and forth, and this is kind of your discussion point and your strategy for the entire month of any given month. And it all starts the week before um, a month, and you come up with your different um, areas that you that you research. So you're gonna come up with just different websites. You're gonna try to build this into, um, you know, really basic plan at first, but then you kind of build on it and you just make it your own. Um, this is just your foundation and, and and this is what's gonna build your online reputation. This is gonna, you're gonna be able to communicate with your sphere using your CRM. Um, today, I'm gonna to talk about KB Core. Like, I, so everybody here, I think is pretty much EXP agents. Um, if you're not, this will apply on any CRM, uh, but what I'm specifically gonna show you is gonna be KB Core. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna come up with your list of um, websites, or content creators like YouTube or you know, where, wherever um, that are providing content that, that you can pull from and, and use every month. Um, you know, and obviously make sure it's reliable, understand it, um, and we're gonna use ChatGPT. You're gonna use AI to help you produce all of this just to speed things up. And I'm gonna show you prompts that you're gonna use at, uh, along each step to be able to create this content. Um, Something I recommend with all of this, uh, with KV Core, you have the ability to post blogs with pretty much any website. I would recommend doing that. And then as you summarize your content on social media, on your, on your uh, email drip campaigns, you're gonna just summarize and you're gonna do a link back to your blog to give all the information. So you're gonna be driving people back to your blog, which is also your different lead gen potentials. You have seller, buyer, um, market reports, all that kind of stuff that you're going to have linked on your website. Just an awesome way to send people back to be able to get into your CRM. Um, so there's a few strategies. There's a few things you're going to do. Um, content types that you're going to build over the course of this plan. Um, first thing you want to do is a market report. So come up with your go-to source for market reports that MLS is always the best place to get that, um, but you can also use you know online resources. In the in this example, um, I just use an online resource. So I'm going to look. So each of these um, each of these areas are linked to kind of a more process based document with um, with the actual chat GPT prompt that you're going to use. So for this market report, I'm using this source. It's just locations to why I'm looking at just basic um, market indicators um, for the big island market. Um, and then I'm gonna go into chat GPT. I'm gonna have it summarize this and it's gonna create a market report. And you'll see here, this is what it kicks out. So you have this great thing, and this, and, then, and I would highly recommend doing a blog post with this. And you can summarize this information at a high level in a newsletter. Um, you can also, I, with all of this stuff, I recommend doing video. Um, it, it's so much better. You're going to build your, your your reputation. People are going to know you. Um, and a, as you build these videos up, you know you get 20, 30 videos out there, and you're posting it to social media every week. Um, you know, you can't just help but be recognized. This is how I built our brokerage um, a, a couple of years. I used the same framework. I had people telling me they see me everywhere. Um, you know, over the course of just a few months of starting to do this, it's super effective. So back to the market report. I, I went into ChatGPT. Let me show you what that session looks like. I'll just drop it in here. So here's a market report. So. I have this linked here, this um, in the document. If you if you pull it out of the show notes, and if you just drag and drop this into ChatGPT, you'll get this market report. I see a hand there. Go ahead and go ahead and talk.
All right, never mind. Um, so here we go. So I go, I, I, I find my resource, right? I use the paid chat GPT, which has the ability to pull plugins, um, which in this case uses the WebPilot plugin, which goes out and evaluates this link right here, and it returns a summary of the report. And I have it, if you'll, if you'll notice how I um, form this prompt, I have it to say return content, I can use as a blog post, making a succinct bullet list of data and trends, make it graphically pleasing. So the idea is you're not gonna have to go reformat this, you can just copy this and paste this into your blog, or you can copy and paste it into your newsletter. And uh, you're really not gonna do much, have to do much editing on it. It's already bolding the headings, it has the bullet list. Monty, go ahead. Um, you chose locations Hawaii there for the link. Is that a, a statewide uh, link or why did you choose that link? No reason for me to choose it. So this is just for an example to show you kind of how you would do it. Oh, so I it's see. Gonna, it's going to be up to you to pull your, your reference, um, your links that you're going to use for your monthly no, I understand. Strategy. That, that's a you know that's a big brokerage that integrates all three MLSs, like some of the like Hawaii Life does, and, and yeah, yeah. So that's what my so really for demonstration purposes, I was trying to pull something that really showed all the key indicators and then uh -huh. would show up on a Chat GPT search. Um, that's all that was behind it. If I was going to do this for my brokerage, I would pull <laughs> MLS data for this, and I would I would do a video on it yeah but this is i mean you can pull all that from hawaii information but you'd spend a hell of a lot more time than what you did there yeah this is this is the beauty of chat gpt and and you can make this your own i mean you can even type that in the prompt to you know make it unique you, you know just tell it i don't want to be i don't want this to look like it's plagiarized and it will totally change it but keep the key indicators for you can you uh, tell us to put it in pigeon you probably could. <laughs> I haven't tried that. Um, yeah, that'd be the kind. That would be. Hey, would be. Um, are these notes available now? You gotta wait till the. Uh, yeah, they're in the, uh, they're in the chat. If you want to jump jump into the chat. Thank you. So, um, yeah. So step one: market report. Like I said, do do a video of this. It's it's so simple. So if you know, once you have ChatGPT build this out for you. You can go in and you can you can tell it to uh, create a video script for me. Present a present on YouTube. So I'm just telling it create a video script I can use to present this on YouTube. So it'll walk you through a transcript that you can use. It'll include kind of be real, how you should position the camera. You don't have to do that. You can just kind of read through the script. Um, because it just gives you an idea. You know, it just simplifies the what I consider to be the biggest time suck is trying to figure out how you're going to do all this. ChatGPT will frame it for you. Not only ChatGPT, there's all kinds of other ones coming out. Bing has it. Google has Bard. Um, I just happen to be using ChatGPT right now. That's just been my go-to. Um, but it, you know, I'm sure. There's other things that are going to surpass it, so just kind of keep an eye on that, and you know, I'll tell everybody what I see as I as I go through it. Last week's talk was about that, the different AI providers that you can use, the different language models, which is what ChatGPT is. So anyhow, here's the, here's a YouTube script you can use, and and post in addition to your text. Um, so that's the market report. the The next thing you're going to want to do um, is a blog post, and I'll show you how to do a blog post in KV Core. I would also highly recommend using this market report as a blog post as well in reference back to that. So here is, um, I'll show you how I would do a blog post. So I wanted to do something kind of benign and not talk about interest rates or housing market um, for this one. So I'm gonna talk about the highest ROI home improvement projects. That was my idea. So I'm just thinking about things I could use um, oh, that's right, Roy, I'll post the show notes. If you come on later, the chat does not follow. So here, I'm gonna post the show notes again, everyone. So 
So for the blog post, I found a link that gives me ideas on the highest ROI um, home improvement ideas that you can that, that you can do. Um, so what I do is I go into Chat GPT and I have it summarize the article. So that's this first post. You kind of see what it kicks out. And then you kind of work down and have it further refine the information. So as an example, so initially I just have it summarize the article just to kind of see what I get out of that. Um, so it goes through, gives me a bullet list, um, just different information. I did notice though, when I initially reviewed these, this article that it has a table in it of average cost, um, resale value one year later and ROI. Um, so I wanted to include that as well. So you can have ChatGPT format a table that you can copy and paste into a blog post. Then I go down and I tell ChatGPT to write a long form content blog post because I'm gonna be using excerpts of this during the course of the month in my social media, as well as I'm gonna include this in my newsletter. Um, so you're going to be referring people back. So the more information, the better. Um, so I so I tell it I want 2,000 characters. Um, I want an interesting, clickable subject, and I want it to write this with foundational SEO best practice. And you don't have to worry about what that means. Um, you can look it up, but just know it's going to give you something that that will probably show up in internet searches. If you keep posting to your blog, you will show up. In internet searches in your local area at some point. Easy, uh, free, um, organic traffic. So with that, it kicks out this, uh, this article that I can use. I can just copy and paste. And I'll show you in KV Core how you do that. I'm going to jump over to KV Core here. Um, if you go to web and IDX, and that's at app.kvcore.com, the back end of your, to your CRM, here you got website blog. Really simple. KB Core has a very simple um, blog posting mechanism. So all you really need is subject and, um, and then the body of the post. So I'm going to click over here, add post. And then all you would do is, is go back over to ChatGPT. You grab the title that it gives you, which is right here. And don't include the quotes. I'm going to control C, copy that. I'm going to walk over here. I'm going to paste that as my as my title. And then I'm going to come over here and grab. Um, I had to do a meta description, which which you'll use on a typical blog posting um, function, but you're not going to use it. Chat, you, I mean, uh, KB Core doesn't have that. Um, so I'm going to skip over that. Lonnie, go ahead. Do you know how in KB Core we can make um links for properties yeah and we can take that link we can blast it all over the place is it the same thing with our blogs so if we yeah. create a blog we can create the link and we can put that on our different websites yes absolutely awesome. and i would say that's why i recommend all your content make a blog of it you know if it's anything that's more than a few paragraphs um make a blog and then basically so like in the in the example of a newsletter I'll, I'll do a little summary and then you kind of go dot, 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 read more. And, you know, as long as your first paragraph is interesting and the subject's interesting, they're going to click that and they're going to go over your website, you know, and you know, the, obviously the benefit of that driving traffic to your website, that's, that's your lead gen funnel. Um, so Ronnie, go ahead. How would you use, um, like Dylan, you know, has his video log. How would you um, recommend putting video inside the blog post? So you would just, you can link your video. So what I would do for a video, in the, in the case of KV Core, uh, the blog posting function is kind of limited, right? So, but what I would do is I would get your video thumbnail that you use on YouTube, and you can post an image in your blog post. So I would upload that image, and then I would link that image to my YouTube link. Okay. So kind of it kind of looks like a, a video link. If someone clicks it, it'll start to you know it'll take them over to YouTube. Could you do the same thing with the animated uh, GIF from um, Bomb Bomb? 
You could, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just an image. Do a little movement. Um, always, that's always better. But, but definitely, that's just it's such an easy way to drive traffic back to your website with everything you do. I'm curious because I'm new um, to the team. Um, is there a team version of BombBomb integrated uh, with KV Cores the way you can? Uh, I don't think so. It's just because there's an additional charge. And I mean, you can get around. I mean, BombBomb's good, but you can definitely use your own YouTube channel in lieu of Yeah, no, I, I, I got it. I would, I would recommend doing that um, just to kind of build your presence on YouTube. Karen, go ahead. So RMLS sends us the uh, report, usually the second week, you know, like yeah, for September or whatever. And I usually just take the first page and I just kind of screenshot it and put it on my Facebook because I'm not a Facebook person. Uh -huh. But it, how can I uh, link it to the full report? Because it's like a, you know, several, quite a few pages. Yeah, if the full report's available, just do, um, I mean, you can do that screenshot of the front page post it as a as an image uh, mm -hmm. on your blog and then link it to the full report or so where, you, the, where would you, i put the full report would i put it in kv core um so the full report is that something that's uh, accessible on the web or is it just like a pdf it's you a download? pdf you can you can download as pdf so um yeah you know what i do with that is i would just copy and paste the content into the blog or there's a way you can you can use chat gpt for that as well um uh, well i, I, what you, what I can, can tell you, i can tell you that i gotta do it as simplest as possible uh -huh. this chat gpt i just found out what it was last week okay so <laughs> okay just we have to keep this really really simple yeah so can i take the pdf put it into my kv core as a blog and then link it so no so the pdf is just a file right so you're gonna have to you, if, if you have um, a PDF editor, you, you can copy and paste that content mm -hmm. into your blog. You may have to copy and paste it into like Google Docs first, because a lot of times when you copy um, text from a PDF, the formatting is all messed up. So you're going to have to reformat it, and then you can copy it into your, um, you know, into your blog. There's a there's a layer of complexity to there uh, to that, but I don't think the learning curve is that steep. To, to be able to figure out how to do that. Um, okay. But I would recommend doing that uh, as a blog post though, definitely. They said, if you've never, if you don't even know what Google Docs is um, and you've never used a text editor, you're probably a couple hours away from figuring out how to do that. But then that's a, you know, that's a skill that you're gonna use for a long time. So it'd be worth okay. putting that effort into it. Um, the, the other thing I was gonna recommend is ChatGPT. You can use a plugin called AI PDF that's when I use those other ones, um, but it'll allow you to like, so you can see for free, you can go into AI drive, which is a part of the AI PDF. You can upload your PDF. It'll give you a link to that PDF that you can use. You can go into chat GPT and you can drop that link and you can say, please summarize this PDF. And there you go, that's gonna be your summarized information. It may be easier to learn that than it is to try to figure out how to copy and paste the PDF or convert a PDF. Okay. It'll give you a beautifully um, formatted text that you can use directly into your blog post if you do that. Um, so, so back over to here, I'm in the blog. I'm going to take the I'm going to take the blog post that it, where am I? Yeah, um, that it kicked out for me, and just paste it in there. So I'm not going to take the title. I'm just going to take all of this information, and be careful in ChatGPT that you don't grab the. It kind of summarizes for you, but it's not a part of the content. So don't post that. You always want to really pay attention to what you're posting with ChatGPT. You read through it, understand it. Um, you know, knowing that this is going to be something that you're going to post as your content. So you definitely want to be aware of what's in it when you get some questions, which you will eventually. Um, so I'm going to just post it. I, I copied that. You know, you can either right click 
when you when you drag through the content, you can either right click copy or I use the keyboard to just type Control C um, and then just paste it in here. You'll see it came through beautifully um, formatted, so I really don't have to do a lot with it. Sometimes you may have to bold things or um, you know change them a little bit, but this looks fine. And then I would just say publish now. And then once you once you publish, I'm not going to do it because I already did it. Um, once you publish a blog post in KV Core, now if you look over here, you have a a link that you can copy. And when when I click that, you'll see down in the bottom left, copy to clip clipboard. Now there's your link that you can use um, when you're referencing this and driving people back to your to your blog. Um, so. Any questions on that? I'm gonna. I know I'm moving kind of quick. This is a lot of information. Um, like I said, we'll we'll have this on video that I'm gonna post, and then um, you have access to all this information. So, the next thing that I like to do for for a newsletter that I've gotten good results on is um, events. And same thing with everything else. Find your go-to resource for events, and grab a few of them and put them on your uh, your newsletter. And I'll show you the newsletter next, so you get an idea of what this all means, how you bring it all together. Um, so for the purpose of this, I use GoHawaii.com, Big Island um, for over here. And then I find some events that you know that I like. I'm not going to you know, put anything that I wouldn't go to. Uh, or keep in mind, like maybe for children, if you want to put a cool events for, for kids. Um, I found that people really like these, and they, and they, and they look for them when you send these. Uh, newsletters. I'm going with three right here. You can go with more. You can do a blog post that has ten, and you only post three with, you know, in a, with a with a link back to your blog post for more. Um, so so what I do, my process is I I go to this website. First, find your website that's going to be your go to. Go to it. Find a couple events that you like. I did three. Like I said, just for the purpose of this exercise, I'm going to post three in the newsletter. And then I go into ChatGPT and I have it build my narrative so I can easily copy and paste it. I don't have to format it. Um, so here's my prompt that I would use here. And again, this is going to be the paid chat GPT version because it's using plugins. It's using you know, a web plugin that can go out and evaluate a website and summarize it and pull information from it. And here's what happens when you do this. So I'm going to say I've had a I had to iterate through this because it didn't always return me what I needed. Like it it returned um, a couple of times. It just returned the a placeholder for the date. So I had to physically tell it, no, please grab the date and put it adjacent to the title. And then I wanted to make sure that it linked each title to the event. Um, so that's kind of a you know, that's that's kind of why I typed out the certain things I did in this chat GBT prompt. So I'm creating a list of the following three events, which I which I link down here, um, and then include the given date as indicated on each event link for each event, and a sentence summary under each bullet. Um, make each event heading a link to its respective link. Bold the word, the word date, and then place the summary below. So that's you know kind of, and I had to do this a few times to figure out how to get the best um results and it also gives you images that you could use in your blog if you wanted to or in your in your newsletter um i did it but it you know it gives you some ideas um and then you can click through all of these to the events so this will be able to copy and paste straight into my newsletter um, i can do a blog post i can copy and paste this entire thing into a blog post um just another way to get get traffic back to you you can discuss these events individually during the course of the month on your newsletter, or you can just reference the entire thing. I mean, on your on your social media posts. Um, just again, something that I found that is interesting to our sphere, and that they they ask for and they appreciate and they mention when we talk to them. So now we're going to bring it all together into a newsletter. Um, so I can I consolidate all of this information. And this is something that goes out to my entire sphere every month. Um, once you kind of, I, 
depending on your sphere, you may want to use KV Core. You may want to start using something like MailChimp. Um, I, I think if you get over, you know, 50, 100 plus people, you may want to look at MailChimp. It's a it, it's relatively inexpensive on the you know 20 bucks a month, 30 bucks a month. Um, but you get better deliverability. You're not going to get you're not going to wind up in the spam mailbox as often with MailChimp. Um, and you just have it's it's just have better functionality, and it sort of integrates with KV Core, um, but most other other CRMs it <laughs> tightly integrates with with them. Um, just kind of as a side note, I'm going to show you how to do this in KV Core right now, though. Um, so, are you saying that Mailchimp has better delivery than KV Core? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, interesting. It, the deliverability is significantly better. You have more. Um, you can do more with MailChimp. MailChimp supports you using your own domain. Obviously, I've I've found mm -hmm. it to be a struggle if I try to if I try to send as my domain out of KV Core, even uh -huh. with all my years of knowledge of, of um, you know making sure that I have it set correctly for deliverability. The way KV Core does it, if you're trying to use your own domain, it bounces through a few um, resources and it it just winds up as spam or um, it's definitely going to go to the kind of the advertising column in in Gmail. Mm -hmm. uh, Mailchimp may get around that, and, and, it, and it usually does. Deliverability is way better. So um, you just um, you would just link your KV Core, whatever. So you get, send it out on Mailchimp and link your thing to so they can look on your your website, basically. Yeah, all right. So the the, okay. the client side would have no idea where you're sending from, other than it shows up in their inbox and not spam. Right. Um, you know, it doesn't really matter to them. It's just, you know, it's an additional oh, okay. functionality. Um, and you can have it talk back and forth with KV Core to where if someone unsubs unsubscribes, it'll also show up on the KV Core side, mm -hmm. you know, which people do um, mm -hmm. to kind of, you know, remain compliant. You uh, know, I've, I've used MailChimp. I, I just have the free version and I was sending out my, um, I think I was sending out my blog through that and I actually had some, pretty good response people were actually picking it up and reading it yeah so, yeah that's great okay. Definitely works. yeah um we like said you can use kv core the kv core is, is long i would recommend if you're sending out a kv core to use your exp realty uh, address don't try to use another domain as send as uh, i spent i've spent a couple of weeks trying to get mine to work and mm -hmm. i just it, and i absolutely know what i'm doing with it so it was it was frustrating uh so just that's kind of a side note to all this thank you um so so yeah so the so the newsletter uh yoko go ahead hey sorry so did you say uh when you send out the um newsletter through kv core use the exp domain Can i would use so let me show you what i mean by that so i'm mm -hmm. gonna I'll jump over here. Um, so you go to your profile in KV Core. So up to top right, I chose my profile. Um, so I'm going to edit profile. So right here where it says you're from email, my experience is that my EFP Realty address that they give to me, it works best. I see, rather than the Gmail that I usually use. Yeah, G so the problem with Gmail is it's a free account, right? So mm -hmm. most email providers will either um, drop it as an advertising email, which not necessarily spam, but it's not gonna show up at the top of someone's list, or they'll just spam it if it, if it, seems, <laughs> if it seems spammy, which um, another thing to think about with that is don't overly format your uh, your email, right? Like if you try to use an embedded Canva email newsletter, it looks great from your perspective, but the way an a email server looks at it inbound is a bunch of junk. It sees it that it's over formatted and that's not gonna be a personal email. So you already raise, you know, kind of the suspicion um, just from, from an email service provider. Um, Interesting. So yeah, that's just a whole discussion on email deliverability. Mm -hmm. Right, um, thank you. Simple, you make it, and the more that it looks like it's coming from you and not from a company, they're just things to think about. 
Um, that's for the content side of it, this, you know, the subject line and the and, and the body. But as the email address it's coming from, it's super important that if you pay attention to that too. Um, and like I said, I, I tested this on my own. I helped, uh, you know, Chris Okamura with it to try to get him to be able to send his team freedom out of KV Core, and we it, it just didn't work well. Um, so learn from my experience on that one. So I'm going to show you now back to um, doing the actual newsletter out of KV Core. So where you do that is from marketing and smart campaigns. And then you have these templates that you can use. And so I'm just going to search for the one that I'm using right now. And I'd recommend just every month you can go in and you can clone these and just make it for the next month. And that way you can kind of keep the formatting, but then you just adjust it. So you kind of have, you know, everybody gets get, kind of gets used to your format in your email. So I'm going to go in here and edit it and kind of show you what I did with all of this. And I can also, also show you how it looks. Whenever you're doing out of KV Core, uh, using the, the email templates, you can always send a test, which is going to send it to your, your KV Core email address. And you can just check and kind of see what you know the other the other end is going to see when you send to them. So a couple things I did with this. I made a header and I made a footer in Canva. Just go in and search, you know, header template, footer template. And um, these are just images that you upload. So, you know, when you when you when you're building in the in the KV Core uh, advanced editor, which is what this is, um, you just kind of drag this content over. You know, so now you have an image field right here. I would click browse, <clears throat> and then and then you can upload. You know, so when when you when you make this in Canva, you download it. You know, to your download folder, and then you just go point. You go, you click upload here, you know, you kind of find where it was and you grab it and you upload it. Um, and then I'm not going to do it right here. Let me see here. So everything else that I do out of this is, is you know, these are all images you can pull out of KV Core for free. Um, and then everything else is my chat GPT content. So I just kind of walk the ladder. I form a, I format this email template. It's probably a little outside of this discussion. Um, that's kind of a whole, uh, I think, class on its own. Um, but like you see here, just as I was mentioning, like for my market report, that's the first thing I put <clears throat> in my newsletter. And I just do kind of the, the, the top level um, indicators. And then I kind of, then I go single family homes, dot, dot, dot. <clears throat> and then I link to my blog post. Because you know people are going to want, if people are interested in this top part, they're going to want to see what the info is on single family homes. And then this is just a link back to my blog. Um, so, you know, when you're in the text editor in um, KV Core, <clears throat> there's this little link thing up here. And like I mentioned, um, you can grab the link from your blog in the, the list of your blog posts and just drop it in here. And now when you send that out, people are going to get driven over to your website. Same thing with um, my blog post. So my blog post, I just put in the first paragraph and then I link back to the entire blog post. Um, for the events, I just link straight to the events on the event website. Um, so I put these in here with a little bit of information. And then this is your kind of the, the, this, this whole footer here, I'm just going to include in every single newsletter. And this just calls to action. So, you know, if somebody wants to do a home search, this text and this image is linked back to my search page. Free home, free home evaluation, you know, everybody has that on KV Core. Just link them back to that. And then monthly market report, you all have a um, market report that you could reference um, and, and send people back to. So I link that, and then you have your contact information. And this is you know, obviously really simple. Um, and as you start to do this, I'm just kind of showing you how it's pretty easy to do. I think if you schedule this uh, on a monthly basis and you start to build this out the you know, last week of every month, you're going to have this information. 
ready to go. And then you can expand on this. You know, once you get this kind of core foundational information um, posted on your website, you have your, um, you know, your the data copy and paste into documents possibly. The next step of all of this is starting to shoot your videos, um, do your social media posting, um, and you can build out calendars for that. You can automate that as well. That's another discussion. Um, so once you get this built out, you can send yourself a test. You can do preview too. Um, but like you see with preview, you kind of have to sit here and scroll through it. But if you send a test to yourself, you're going to see the entire thing and you're going to see exactly what your people are going to see. Um, and here it is. So I sent this to myself. And this is exactly what I get on my Gmail account. So it looks pretty good, right? This is, and, and I don't think this is going to show up um, as spam. You have the email header. There's going to be some with the, you know HTML code in this, but it's it, I don't think it's it's going to really flag as spam because it's not overly um, formatted. And it looks pretty good. Any questions on that? Um, I don't have a question, but a couple of um, comments. Yeah. In terms of all your analytics and stuff, is there any particular day or time um, with an email like this or a monthly practice that seems to get better results in terms of open yeah. rate? Yeah, it's usually, um, so just as a, as a rule, it's, it's going to be in in the morning time frame of your market and you're picturing people getting to work sometime after eight o'clock and then they kind of go through their email and it, it'll it'll be there um, if you use something like Mailchimp Mailchimp monitors when people open email and it'll recommend a time for you to send it um, just kind of as a side note but I'd say as a hard roll just just think in terms of uh, you know a Monday morning Tuesday morning <clears throat> Do you no. use MailChimp or KV Core when you do this? I use MailChimp. And do you use the function where it says, give me the optimized time and just let MailChimp pick that? Yeah. Uh -huh. um, a couple other thoughts. Um, what about the idea um, across the spectrum of our 122 agents for people that are not as facile to create um, an agency temp, a newsletter template for those that want to use KV Core, um, you know, that's got some of the agency branding. I, I just looked and there don't seem to be any newsletter templates or campaigns. You like that idea or? So, so you're asking that um, a, a template that we can share across the agency? Yeah, just just basically built something that's got, you know, the header, the footer, each uh -huh. agent can customize, you know, copy the template and uh, put their own, you know, branding on the bottom. Um, maybe even something that's got kind of the, you know, different block set up, like you have block set up. Something that agents will make it easier for them to do. Yeah, we can do that. I can, set, I can do that with this. I'm not sure what um, what they're doing over there with uh, Dylan and and Kelly may have something like that already. I just I just looked in that in that section and I didn't see anything. So you might uh, yeah yeah that's a good idea. It. I think um, you can share all that stuff around. Another thought I had that I used not that I'm super happy with the results, but if I go into Chat BT like with everything you're teaching us, you know, uh, write me a monthly news. I'm, I write a monthly newsletter for the Big Island. Give me four clever titles or four humorous titles uh -huh. for a newsletter, which is filled with real estate stats and island activities. And like it came up with lava luxuries, Big Island properties and tropical escapades or hula homes, Big Island real estate rhythms and island festivities. As far as the subjects? Uh, the name of the name of the newsletter. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, you can play around with that, you know, and iterate through to get it to kind of sound like something you would say. I love using chat GPT for that, for, for you know, that very thing, just to kind of help you brainstorm. Um, I have a cool, actually, document I could share that gives you those sort of ideas. That was great. Love all the stuff you're doing. It's really fun. Oh, thank you. Um, 
You know, here's so here's a list. I don't even, I don't even know where I got this. It's fifty. It's one of those things where they say, "Hey, here's you know, sign up for my newsletter, and I'll give you fifty prompts," which I truly believe is. Um, and I mean, it's cool, but you once you start doing this, prompting is pretty simple. It's very literal, um, and you'll get the idea of how to do it without any help. But let me um, let me share this. I have it. So I'm going to drop this in the in the chat. You guys can kind of mess around with this. Hey, Eric, while you're doing that, um, have you played with Mid Journey? Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll call you offline. So let me tell you guys, if you want to know with Mid Journey, um, ChatGPT paid now has that same functionality, and I really think it's better. Um, just so you go in, Mid Journey uses Dolly 3 as its Im image processing. So now you can use ChatGPT to do that without having to go through the complexity of Mid Journey and Discord. Um, so all you do is instead of plugins, you use Dolly 3 and then just, you know, say, I don't know if you guys have seen this or not, but it's pretty cool. Um, so you can say, um, just think of any image you can think of. So uh, show me a luxury, luxury kitchen with an ocean view in Hawaii. And you'll, you'll see it's using uh, the Dolly 3 image processor up here. And this takes a little time. It's not a, you know, really fast. Um, you know, and this is kind of a, you can use this. I, I like I use this for any of my imagery. Like if I do a social media post, I'll do this. You can do logos. You can do so many things. Um, so I wanted to use it for, can you sort of drill in iterations? Like I'm yeah. doing a Thanksgiving event here on Kauai for clients. I call it pie and performance. So it's, uh -huh. uh, I, you know, I either deliver or have people come to pick up pies for my choice clients. I uh, give them a Cutco pie server. Uh -huh. And because I'm a musician, you know, it's also like a little mini concert. And so I asked it to give me, you know, uh, some sort of background that has both pies and musicians. Mm -hmm. uh, but I found it really hard to kind of get it to do what I wanted. It is. Can you, using Dolly 3, can you, do you get to work with the images once you have them? You do, yeah. And I feel like from what I've seen with it, yeah, using ChatGPT with Dolly 3, you know, from my experience with using Discord in MidJourney, that's because you like more normal images. You know, uh, I feel like Mid Journey will just give you strange things that are almost like disturbing. <laughs> and um, this will be better. And you can iterate through these two. So you you'll see like what this kicked out two images. It's numbers of one and two. So you can say, um, you know, you know, please generate number one, the first image making it sunset so it can, it'll just change that image to be more of a sunset um, view vanita go ahead uh, i want to ask you for the this dolly three can uh -huh. you use those images are they free or is there any yeah. copyrights is this something yours. That you use for free okay th great thanks they're yours. yeah you, there's no copyright issue at all with it because it you know it, it generates it on the fly so it's unique um but yeah, so you can you can iterate through these. Like, Ronnie, if you're making one for Thanksgiving and you don't like how the turkey looks, just tell it you want a different turkey, or you can sell it, say the style of the turkey, like you want a happy turkey. <laughs> um, how did you get it to? You just put in description. You didn't say make an image. You just said no. So the way you, it's the context. So when I go to new chat, yeah. Um, I have four, and so with four, you have these different things you can turn on and off, and you can only use one at a time. So plugins, you're, you're either using plugins or you're using Dolly 3. So I chose, you see it's uh, checked. So it's just the context. So I don't have to say it because I chose Dolly 3 as the context of this chat. I got it. I see it. Like I said, it's, it, it, it's way better. It's yeah. way better for the journey. Okay, I'm trying it right now. <laughs> Anyone have any other questions on this? I know we're kind of off on a tangent with the image. Sorry about that. Um, can Creation. I ask a question? Yeah. Um, earlier you showed um, 
on your screen, like a KV core, um, was it, it was looking like a blog, huh? right? About the market report. Huh? What if you wanted to add some photos, make it more um, uh, visual, attractive? Yeah, like, how would you do that? So you just, when you're, when you're doing the blog posts, so I'll jump over here, website blog. Uh, I'll just, uh, I'll edit this market report. So like, say you just want a header. I'll just go right here at the top and I'll, then you select image. And then you can just upload an image. So I can grab that header of any Canva, say. You just do something like that. Thank you. And yeah, sure. did you show on, on this class how to do the blogs? Yeah. OK. And I, right I, here. Missed go to... little, I missed a little part. I'll go back to the recording. I'll, I'll show you since I'm here. You got a web in IDX. You got a website blog, which is where we are. You go over here to the right, and you go add post. And that's it. You got your title, and then you got your content. And okay. then, uh, and then, and then once. Once you create it, it'll show up on your website, on your um, if you have your blog listed. So here's all my latest blogs. Mm -hmm. um, and you can either go there to find the link to your newest blog, or when you're in the blog page, you can see right over here, these mm -hmm. little these two little squares, that's a link to your page. And if you click it, it'll copy it to your clipboard, and you can use it in whatever you're in. Oh, and then how do you use that link? You said something uh, at the beginning of the class, uh, summarize and link to the blog or, or bring people back to your website. How do you use that link again? You just use it in any of the content that you produce. Just paste it. Could you use it also on a, a Facebook post yeah. as a link to where people can go and then it brings them there? Yeah, you can. Okay. Uh, and and you, it doesn't work on Instagram. You can't use links on Instagram. But what I would do is just link your blog in something like Linktree because you can't have a couple of links on your Instagram profile. So use Linktree, have your blog linked on there, and you can just reference your blog from the um, from the Instagram post. Thank you. You're welcome. One, one thing I wanted to mention to everyone um, that I noticed uh, that I didn't notice before in the email templates, I always say, you know, when you're doing this kind of stuff, if you're building your, um, you know, your your images, your kind of creatives, to use websites like Pixels and Pixabay, they're all, you know, copyright free images that you can download and use. That's integrated to KV Core now. So um, if if you go and you're dropping images, I'm going to go back over to my my template here. So I'm going to edit this November template. And let's say I want to add an image maybe to the top of my market report. So over here on the side, I'll just kind of drag this in. I'll put it here. I'll browse. And typically, you'd have to upload or just use something that you've already had, you've already used. Well, now you can search for free photos. And I'm not sure when that happened, but it, it's, it's awesome. So now. I'm going to click search free photos and it's it's using pexels and pixabay combined so i can say market like i don't know whatever you want um i can say homes it'll go out and search pexels and pixabay for homes and choose one that you want to use so i so i clicked it it's going to import that into my local um, kv core image library and then i go insert and there you go so you don't have to go to Pexels and Pixabay when you're using the KV Core um, template editor. You can just pull images from the internet that are copyrighted. You say uh, island homes. Let's see. I know it brings up a few when you do that on these sites. Let's see. There's an island home, literally. 
That's a little too literal. I would say um, Hawaiian homes or Hawaii homes. It brought up some kitchen islands. Yeah, it's, the, the search isn't that robust. But you get the idea. You just kind of have to play around with it to see how it reacts to your searches. But you can pull free images that way without having to go to you know the additional step of downloading and uploading back into into KV Core. I think you're going to see that with these um, any of these kind of um, online content creation. It's all starting to bring in AI, so you won't even have to go to ChatGPT. You'll you'll be able to have it in line create your subject and your body just you know with a little side pop up. Um, that's what I'm seeing in uh, web development right now. I'm seeing it like Elementor for WordPress. You can, I don't have to go to ChatGPT when I'm doing stuff. Um, so it's all just kind of coming down to a single interface, which is pretty cool to see. Eric, can I um, share the screen and show you what I did with what you just taught me? Yeah, go ahead. Let me uh, see if I can make you a presenter. Let's see. I don't know if this is the right. Oh, yeah, here it is. So I said, um, you know, I'm doing an event. Uh, give me an image of a pumpkin pie and the silhouette of a bass player. Uh-huh. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I like it. Thank you for that. Yeah, I love that. Karen, go ahead. Well, this is going back to um, the AI. And you gave us some free version, I think, Bing or something. So yesterday I was writing a description for a listing. Uh -huh. and, you know, three bedroom, two bath, da, 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 da. And so I want it to be a little bit more descriptive, you know, how some people can do, you know, delightful, whatever, and come home to your... And so I tried that and it just, just gave me some, I said, you know, make this more descriptive. I had my paragraph and I just don't think I did it right. I, I was wondering if there's certain ways that you ask the AI yeah. that, it, you know. I usually go with style. Um, you can say like instructional, you can say professional, you can say casual. I think that usually leads you to probably more of what you're looking for. Well, we want to, I want a more descriptive something because you know they say you want to make them feel it's you don't want just information, you want them to feel something when yeah, they read yeah. the description. So how would you um for some reason I don't remember what I put in there, but it came wanting to give me music. I would say <laughs> I would just say expand, please expand on it. Um using you know more this, uh, catch the adjectives or something like that okay and and you just you just keep trying to see what works and yeah so uh, like maybe I, I wrote that and then i just pasted the it in there and this is is it supposed to know what to do yeah okay i used that bing one i think it was like the link you had towards the top yeah that one works um still I, I, catchy adjectives you're saying yeah i use catchy adjectives yeah, you, know, you have to be a little more specific in how you okay. give it instruction. Okay. Because it's not, as remember, it's, at the end of the day, it's not really smart. It's just using, it's kind of algorithmic how it, how it does things. You can say, uh, you can say type how, like how Ernest Hemingway would type it, you know, and see what he does. <laughs> You'll be surprised. Oh, okay. Try that. Okay, who knows, right? I gotta do it right now because I got anybody like it. any historical figure or our, our author, you can tell it to write in that style, right? Because I want them to be able to feel something, yeah. I think yeah, that's I why think, I said I Hemingway. That would I mean, come on, yeah. that's awesome, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm pretty utilitarian when it comes to stuff, you know. There's just one, I don't know, it's a three, two, it's got a porch, you know, it's a you know, it's got a garage, <laughs> yeah. So I usually copy somebody else as well, not you know, not straight out, but. You know, some people are better. That's than fine, that. though. You can, as long as you tell ChatGPT what you're doing, like, hey, I'm co like copy and paste that in and say, hey, I flat out copied this from someone else. I don't want to be, I don't want this to be plagiarized. Please make this unique, but keep the, you know, keep the keep the idea of, you know, the the spirit of this paragraph. Huh. 
Interesting. You got, they're not going to tell you about ghosts, huh? <laughs> spirit, I, I mean, I don't know. Spirit, right. I'm thinking in terms of like spirit of the law or spirit of a contract. <laughs> yeah, who knows? <laughs> I guess that's where you just take the time and play with it, right? Yeah, just kind of make it. That's why I say like is you can look at prompts, like the prompt list that I just listed, and it'll it, maybe it'll just trigger you to have your own ideas. But once you get the um, kind of the format on how people prompt, mm -hmm. um, you'll you'll see it's 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 pretty literal. It's it's just you want your you want style, um, and then kind of the feeling that that you get. Right. Those right. are the things you're going to iterate through. Okay. Well, I'm going to do that right after we're done. Thank you so much. All right. All right. Well, so we got a couple more minutes, um, but you know we close this out. Thanks everyone. I love all the the questions, and um, we'll continue with this. You know, I have my, I kind of have my five step thing that I do that I coach people through um, to build your monthly content. And, you know, if we, if you sit through all five weeks, you'll get that for free. And hopefully you'll be on along your way to um, and kind of building your marketing uh, foundation. So cool. Unless there's any more questions, we can, we can end this and you guys can uh, go along your Friday. Eric, do you have um, five minutes to talk with me? Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll just call you on the phone. Okay, cool. All right, everyone. Thank you. See you later. See you next week. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.